Hey guys, Nick here, and today we're going to give you an in-depth look at the user interface and controls of the CNC plasma table. To start, we have the key switch to turn the table on and off with the emergency stop on the side. The emergency stop will halt any cutting operations. To reset, rotate the button clockwise. Once here, press any key to continue to the main cut screen. The function keys below the screen are your main navigation keys for getting the different menus. You can see these get you to the locations listed in the bottom bar of the screen. F8 is a good one to remember. This zero is your axes and is often used as a save, enter, or continue button in some of the submenus. This is the USB port for importing and exporting files with a USB drive. Note that the maximum USB drive supported is 16 gigabytes and it must be formatted to FAT or FAT32 file system. Here we have some manual controls. Most of these are for oxyfuel cutting, which isn't applicable on this table. The only useful one is the plasma button, which can be used to manually cut with the CNC torch. Pressing it will toggle the torch on, and pressing it again will toggle it off. The arrow keys are used to traverse the gantry, and the S arrow keys move the torch. The F plus minus keys can be used to adjust the torch cutting speed quickly. The escape key will cancel and close windows or take you back to the previous menu. If you want to return to the main screen, just keep pressing the escape key. These are your main controls to start or stop cutting operations. To begin a file, press start, followed by enter to confirm. Pressing stop will halt cutting at any time. Note that you restart by pressing start, but it will not ask for confirmation. The enter key is another key used in many menus to confirm entries. If you need to confirm or continue, usually F8 or enter are the keys to try. The four quick access keys let you change the cut speed, manual speed, movement mode, and step movement distance. The number and letter combo keypad lets you enter cut speeds, name files, and also has quick access functions we will show. The black half of the key is the primary function. With this key, we can see the primary function is seven. Holding shift and pressing the key will switch to the modified function shown in the white half, U in this case. The quick access options are M to change modes and N to change curve. Space also has an additional function. Pressing it opens some demo modes. In the main cut screen on the LCD, there is a lot of information shown. Across the top, we have software version, torch speed in real time, current file loaded, machine status, which simply shows if the machine is starting a cut, cutting, or stopped as we are now. The top right shows the current line segment and cut hole of a cut in progress. Below that, we have a window that shows the status and timers for some systems. This changes with mode. It is left blank in demo mode, and in oxyfuel mode, it has a different option set, which is unused since this is a plasma table. Below, speeds and curve are shown with the corresponding quick access keys, then movement modes and their quick access keys. Keep move moves as long as the button is held. You'll use this mode most of the time. Continuous move toggles movement on and off with the buttons. This is nice if you're trying to make a long movement so you don't have to hold the key, especially when manually cutting. Step move moves the set distance with each press and the distance is shown here, which is set by the G key. This is helpful to make precise movements for alignment of the torch to a point on the workpiece. Finally, we have current position of the torch with respect to the zero point, which can be reset by pressing F8. Next to that are some stats, cumulative number of pierces, cumulative cut time, and overall run time. These are handy to track consumable life in a production environment. Now actual navigation and interaction is accomplished with a combination of a few of the key groups. Function keys get you into different menus. These can be navigated with the arrows usually and numbers entered. While cutting is in progress, the screen does not change, but it displays live information about the cut. You can see the current position of the torch in the top left corner of the square, cut lines completed, travel lines, down here is the G-code live stream, and function timers. The CNC plasma table is shipped configured to metric units. Everything you have seen so far is in millimeters or millimeters per minute for movement. Changing this to imperial units is easy. First, we go to the diagnose menu with F5, then press F8, system definitions, then F3, define, enter password 1396. Press F5 option. Now on the list, we see default units. We can change this to the imperial units, press F8, save, and now we have to turn the table off and back on to cycle it. Once we're booted up again, the table is now in inches and inches per minute. Below the cut controller is where the torch height controller, commonly known as the THC, lives. This is your direct control of the torch height. On the far left, we have indicator LEDs to show things like when the motor is running up or down, when it triggers the arc on, when ignition is successful, 
if automatic mode is on and if the torch has collided and tripped the limit switch. The digital displays are multi-function, but they default to showing the set arc voltage target and actual arc voltage. The control knobs allow for direct control of the most critical THC functions. The one closest to the displays adjusts the target arc voltage and toggles automatic control on and off by pressing it. Rotating this knob doesn't change anything because the pierce delay is controlled by the cut controller, but pressing it will do a very short test arc. The IHS height is a good one to know because adjusting it will change the starting height of the torch when it arcs on. This number is simply runtime of the motor in seconds after the torch trips when it sets down. To test this, we can press the knob and now we know what height the torch will start at. The dynamic pierce knob is not functional in this configuration. The menu and enter buttons are used in conjunction with the IHS height knob to adjust parameters. When you press menu, you will see different parameter codes and their set values show on the screens. To adjust, click enter, scroll the adjustment, then press enter to save. Cycling through, we have some additional parameters and the system version. Dropping down to the plasma cutter itself, we have a couple points to hit. Naturally, here we have the power switch, air adjustment knob, indicator LEDs, and amperage adjustment dial. The test air switch here is a quite useful one. Flip this on and it will run air through the torch, perfect for getting the right adjustment on your air pressure dial, or I'll even flip it on and use the torch to blow water off my completed parts. 